All right, artists, very simple step today. We're gonna just really be tracing our beautiful um, James Rizzi inspired cityscapes. So whatever you guys happen to have at home for tracing, we want it to be dark or black. Traditionally, a Sharpie is gonna be ideal. All right, this is gonna be perfect. If you don't have a Sharpie, get a flare pen, get a black pen, get a black colored pencil. All of these things will work just fine. All right, so you guys, I'm fairly certain you guys can trace um, your artwork, but I just wanna show you precisely what I mean. So I'm just gonna trace really one building so you guys can get the general idea. Um, it's always good once you're done tracing everything, you want to go ahead and give it an eraser wash. For my students that are tracing with um, black colored pencil, you just want to go ahead and trace as best you can. And do not use a eraser wash because you guys might smear all of your colored pencil around. So for my Sharpie, or marker tracers, this is for you. I want you guys to make sure, once you're done, that you will go ahead and use that eraser and clean it all up. And I'll show you that in just a moment. But even some of these areas here, you guys can see that needed to be black, like the pupil of my um, building's eye. Oh, looks great so far. Um, oh, we gotta get the nose. Try to make sure you guys are getting every detail possible. It's okay if it's not exact, especially if you have a marker or a Sharpie that you're tracing with. You want to try to be nice and neat about this. Um, it's important that we do use black because James Rizzi, his style involves having bold, thick black lines. Um, traced over all of his work. You want to make sure everything gets traced. Every little detail gets that thick, bold black line, please. Every little star, shape, everything, all right? Um, and this is what I mean by an eraser wash. You guys, if you get close up, you can see I missed a little bit. I have some pencil marks here. So that's where getting an eraser and taking your pencil marks off, leaving only your Sharpie is just good craftsmanship. It's just good idea to get your artwork to look nice and clean and neat. And you can fool your audience into thinking that you drew all of this with Sharpie there in the first place. <laughs> all right, so fantastic. So that's just one building. We want to make sure we're tracing every single thing, but for the sake of this video not being super long, I'm just going to do one. All right, friends, you guys can post this onto Seesaw just to show me that you did it. Tomorrow we're going to be adding that color.